Hello children, this is Manoj Khrel, your science teacher, mentor and guide. Today I am going to place my first video on YouTube about the chapter Chemical Reactions and Equations of Class 10th. I have tried to explain all the topics which are included in this chapter, but still if you feel that any of the chapter is left untouched or difficult for you, you can write it in the comment box. A request to all of you, if you like my videos, kindly like it and subscribe it to get the notifications from the very first and after subscribing please hit the bell icon giving below. So let's start. So first of all before starting this chapter I would like to uh, explain a few topics of standard 9th so that uh, all the chapters can be understood very easily. Because I will chapters in the chapters mein ionic compounds included in the and if these ionic compounds will not be done or will not be learned or will not be understood thoroughly, you will not be able to understand any of the topics. So please learn first this thing that I am going to explain here. Look children, you have studied one thing, ion, in your tan ion standard, ions. Do you know what the ions are? Yeah, you know. The ions are the charged atoms or groups of atoms. What do we call atoms which are charged or groups of atoms which are having some charge are called ions. Now the question arises how the ions are formed. Look children, we will take an example. Sodium. Atomic number of sodium is 11 and its electronic configuration is 281. So what I say? So atomic number of sodium is 11 and its electronic configuration is 281. So we can say that it will lose one electron and form positive ion, sodium positive ion. In this manner, the positive ion of sodium is formed. Second example, oxygen. The atomic number is 8 and configuration is 2, 6. So you can say that it needs two electrons to complete its octet. Oxygen. It will take two electron and it forms oxide ion 2 8. Similarly, here 2 8. Done beta. So ions, what the ions are? They are the charged atoms or groups of charged atoms. Done. Now you have studied that there are two types of ions. Two types of ions are there. So what you will say, simply you will say they are cations and anions. I know that you all know about this. But still, I want to tell you something more. Cations are the positively charged ions and anions are negatively charged ions. You know this thing? Like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. They all are positively charged ions which are formed by losing of electrons. Now negatively charged ions. Hydride ion, oxide ion, nitride ion, sulfide ion. These are negatively charged ions which are formed by gaining of electrons. Got it or not? Now next topic. Once again, you have studied two types of ions, cations and anions. Cations are positively charged ions and anions are negatively charged ions, you know? Right. But still in your standard 9 on page number 37, you found two more categories of ions. One are monoatomic ions. And second one are polyatomic ions. Done. Monoatomic ions and polyatomic ions. Done. Monoatomic ions like sodium, lithium, potassium, calcium, magnesium. Aluminium, etc. 
they are the monatomic ions because they all contain only one atom in them second are polyatomic ions like ammonium like hydroxide ion like sulfate ion like carbonate ion they all are called polyatomic ions because they contain more than one atoms in them now how do i say sir how do i find which is the monatomic or polyatomic in one identification only simply simply i just want to let you know only for you if you see only one capital letter in an ion only one capital letter in an ion that will be the presenting or presentation of monatomic ion देखो इन सबके अंदर कैसा है एक कैपिटल लेटर नजर आ रहा है आप लोगों को ओनली वन कैपिटल लेटर बट द पॉलिटोमिक आइंस दे आर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ मोर देन टू और मोर कैपिटल लेटर्स एच सी ओ थ्री बाय कार्बोनेट आइन थ्री कैपिटल लेटर्स यू आर गेटिंग सो मोनिटोमिक आइंस आर आइंस विच आर हैविंग ओनली वन एटम इन दम Polyatomic ions are have ions which are having two or more than two atoms in them. Is that done? Now the question arises: Sir, why are you letting telling us all these things that we have studied? No, child. I just want to let you know how to frame the formula of the ionic compounds. Just so you can remember it and you can utilize the compounds in the coming chapters. Is that done? Just a minute. Now the question arises: Sir, why are you letting us all these In your standard ninth book, on page number thirty-seven, you will be getting a table that is consisting of three columns in it. How many columns are there? Three columns. In first column, you will be getting monoatomic positive ions. In second column, monoatomic negative ions. And in third one, you will be getting polyatomic ions. Is that done or not? Well, so let us take some examples of the monatomic ions. Hydrogen ion. What is this? Hydrogen ion. Lithium ion. Sodium ion. potassium ion then magnesium zinc barium aluminum Some of the positive ions are left here actually, and I will let you know about them whenever we will do practice of making the formulas. Okay. Now, what about monatomic ions? Hydride ion. It is hydride ion. Negative ion of hydrogen. Secondly, oxide ion. Then. Sulfide ion, okay. Sulfide ion, the ion of sulfur. This is nitride ion. What do we call it? Nitride ion. You can see that all these ions are having one similarity. They all are ending. Their names are ending with ide. So this will be very useful for you. Just remember it. Then. chloride bromide iodide and fluoride what is this chloride ion bromide ion iodide ion and fluoride ion got it then after polyatomic ions beta first one 
ammonium. Then hydroxide ion. SO4 2 minus sulfate ion. SO3 2 minus sulfite ion. CO3 2 minus it is carbonate ion. Then HCO3 1 minus it is bicarbonate ion or hydrogen carbonate ion. Getting it? Lastly, H not H, it is phosphate ion PO4 3 minus. It is phosphate ion. What do we call it? Phosphate ion. Is that done? Just get it copied first. Then we will take uh, utilize this table. Is that done? Just copy this table first. Okay. Let's rub all these and move forward. Now we will utilize all these formulas in making the formulas of ionic compounds because ionic compounds are very useful for you and they will be used in your all the coming chapters of chemistry. Done. So first example, very simplest, simplest example I will take. You will have, just a minute, just a minute, listen, ionic compounds, Adi? Let's know about the let's know about the ionic compounds ionic compounds look children ionic compounds are the compounds which are formed by joining of ions one of them is positive ion and other one is the negative ion so we can say the first part is of generally positive ion and the second part is always a negative ion. That's why the name of any ionic compound is always containing two parts. First part that of positive ion and the second part is the name of the negative ion. Once again the name any ionic compound is made up of ions two types of ion, positively charged ion and negatively charged ion. The first part is always be generally be positive ion and the second part is negative ion. For example, sodium chloride. Now, write the symbols of sodium ion and chloride ion. Where do we get them, sir? Where do we get them? How do I know the for the symbols of these ions? I don't know. No, I just want to tell you. Thodi de pehle aapko kani table padi thi. Us table mein first column mein sare positive charge ions the. Second column mein sare ke sare wo ions hain jinke naam ke last mein ion aata hai. Negative ions and third one will be having the polyatomic ions. तो हमेशा पॉलीटोमिक आयन कहां मिलेगा लास्ट में मिलेगा नेगेटिव आयंस बीच वाले टेबल में मिलेगा और फर्स्ट वाले में मिलेंगे सारे पॉजिटिव आयंस सिवाय अमोनियम के दैट यू विल फाइंड एट द टॉप ऑफ द पॉलीटोमिक आयंस डन सो द सिंबल ऑफ सोडियम फ्रॉम देयर इज Na1+ एंड सिंबल ऑफ क्लोराइड इज Na1 सॉरी Cl1- सिंबल ऑफ सोडियम इज Na1+ एंड सिंबल ऑफ क्लोराइड इज Cl1- सो how do I find the formula of sodium chloride? What is the valency of sodium ion here? 1. What is the valency of chloride? 1. Now, we will mark these arrows. What do these signs tell? These, uh, they tell that the formula of sodium chloride is having 1 atom of sodium and 2 atoms of 1 atom of chloride. 1 atom of sodium and one atom of chloride. Is that an? Sorry, I have used the word atom. We will be using the word ion here. So, the form of sodium chloride is having only one 
ion of sodium and one ion of chlorine. Is that done? Next example. One more example. Magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride. So symbol of magnesium is Mg2+. Properly read it so that you can learn it easily. And symbol of chloride is Cl1-. So what is the valency of magnesium? 2. And valency of chlorine is 1. So how many magnesium ions will be there in the formula? 1. Please do not write the charges in the chemical formula. And what is the number of chlorine atoms? Chlorine ions? 2. MgCl2. So we will write the 2 as subscript. MgCl2. Mg1 and Cl2 is the formula of magnesium chloride. Is that done? Some more examples here, like magnesium oxide. What is the valency of magnesium here? 2. Valency of oxygen? 2. So, as according to you, the formula of magnesium oxide will be having 2 atoms of magnesium and 1 atom of, 2 atoms of oxygen. Right? But no, this is not the correct formula. Why? Sometimes whenever you are getting the numbers like which can be divided by a common number So just cancel them first 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 So this will be the number of magnesium and this will be the number of oxide ions in the formula So how many magnesium ions? 1 Mg And how many oxygen ions? 1 So this is the correct formula of magnesium oxide Is that done? Good. Next, one more example. Sodium oxide. So, sodium valency is 1, oxide valency is 2. So, how many sodium will be there? 2. How many oxide will be there? 1. So, this is the formula of Na2O. Sodium oxide. Done, beta? One more example. Magnesium. Don't take example of magnesium. We will be getting bored with magnesium. Huh? We will take zinc. Zinc hydroxide. Zinc hydroxide. Zinc valency is 2. Hydroxide valency is 1. Then, how many zinc will be there? 1. So, how you will write? 1 zinc. How many OH are there? 2. So you may be writing like this. Okay. But no, this is the wrong presentation. What we'll do? You will have to make brackets. Whenever any polyatomic ion is coming for 2 or more than 2 times, we will write it in the parenthesis or in the brackets. Got it or not? What do you कोई भी पॉलीटोमिक आयन दो या दो से ज्यादा बार आएगा हम उसको हमेशा ब्रैकेट्स के अंदर लिखेंगे क्योंकि अगर हम यहां ऐसे लिखते हैं OH2 व्हाट डज इट मीन देयर इज ओनली टू हाइड्रोजन द ऑक्सीजन इज ओनली वन सो दिस विल बी रॉन्ग बट राइटिंग लाइक दिस वी विल से दैट देयर इज ओनली वन ऑक्सीजन एंड वन हाइड्रोजन टू ऑक्सीजन सॉरी टू ऑक्सीजंस एंड टू हाइड्रोजन एटम्स इज दैट डन नेक्स्ट सो आई होप सो the making of chemical formula is now clear with all of you. Is that done? So, in my next video, we will be continuing the chapter 1 of chemistry actually. Because here, I have just let you know how the formula of chemical compounds form. Is that done? So, I just want to make you one more request. Please, please, please be with the video only if you are having a copy and pen in your hands. Just whenever you are reading or studying from here, please write or note all the points which are I am writing on the board. Is that done? And last but not the least, if you like the video or you like the contents, please like the video and subscribe my channel. 
and so that and by hitting the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the first tweets.